Excellence Academy. For today, we'll be looking at the solution to the 2020-2021 academic session physics test questions for science tests. We'll be starting with the calculated questions. From here, question number two, we say Alright guys, so this is the 2020 slash 2021 physics 105 test question for science students. Just simply copy the questions down and let's solve them together. A particle of mass 2 kg is initially placed 3 meters above a table. The height of the table from the ground is 1 meter. Now it says the particle is moved slowly down the top of the table. Find the change in the potential energy of the particle as it rests on the table. For this question, we are asked to find a uh, change in potential energy. So before we solve this, let's discuss potential energy a bit. Alright? So what's potential energy? Alright, so potential energy is simply the energy possessed by a body at rest. Okay? When a body is at rest, the kind of energy it possesses is called potential energy. Now, mathematically, we can call this PE. So, mathematically, potential energy is equal to the product of the mass of the body as relation to gravity and height. Alright? So, mathematically, Potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. Now, if you consider this equation as Kali, we'll see that when it comes to potential energy there, the mass of the body is always a constant. As relation to gravity, G is always a constant. It itself is not a constant. So when it comes to the formula of potential energy there, mass and gravity are both constant. It means they don't change. Why height is subject to change. Hence, in the idea of potential energy there, the most important um, the most important parameter there should be height. So height somehow determines the potential energy of anybody because it is the only parameter that is subject to change. Alright? So having potential energy has been equal to mass times gravity times height. Now let's consider the question here. Now it says a particle of 2 kg is placed 3 meters above a table. Now we we'll use I will use that ground to illustrate this question. Now let's say I have a ground surface this way. So this is a ground surface. Um, here's a ground surface. So here's my ground surface. And I have a table. Let's say I have this table, uh, the length of the table. So I have this thing here. Now it says I have a particle whose mass is 2 kg. So I'm having a mass this way. Um, a mass. Okay. Having a mass this way. So I have this mass here. They said the mass of this body M is equal to 2 kg. So a body of mass, 2, two kg, we said is placed 3 meters above a table. So distance between this mass here, distance from here to the top of the table here is uh, 3 meters. So I'm having 3 meters here from the mass to the table is about 3 meters. So here is your distance. Next one it says, um, the table, the height of the table from the ground is 1 meter. So here's my ground surface, this. Uh, they said the height of the table from here, from this point, from the height of the table to the ground is 1 meter. So I have 1 meter here. So this would be like um, an illustration of the question. Right, so here's my table. Having one meter, three meter, you have to find the change in the potential energy. All right. 
So for this for this now, we said this mass is brought down until it rests on the top of the table. So the mass is brought down until it rests on the top of the table. And I'm asked to find the change in the potential energy. Now for this question here, there are two important points. Now let, let's call this your point one. The first important point, that's the height from which the mass was from the table, which is three meters. And number two, the height to which the mass later rests on. So I have two important points here. Point one, which is three meters of the table. And then point two, which is one meter from, which is really on the table, but then it's one meter from the ground. Alright, so we're about to find the change in potential energy. What do I do? Um, your first task, your first task is to look for your datum of reference. In this case now, my reference point will be from the ground. I'll take the ground as my reference point. If I take the ground as my reference point, If I take the ground as my reference point, then it means that distance from this mark to this point would be in total 4 meters. So it's 4 meters from this point to the ground. That's 3 meters plus 1 meter. That gives you 4 meters. So I have 4 meters in total from the ground to position 1. So that's my first height. Also, consider from the ground, for position 2 here, yeah, the distance between the ground and this point is about 1 meter. So I'm having here yeah, as my second distance. Alright, so taking the ground here yeah, as your datum, the first distance from the ground to point 1 is about 4 meters in total. 3 plus 1. Taking the ground as the datum there, yeah, the height from here to here becomes 1 meter. Alright, let's get change in potential energy. The change, the change in the potential energy will be equal to change in potential energy will be equal to the potential energy at point 1, that's here, minus the potential energy at point 2. That's there. Alright, let's get this value. The potential energy at point 1 is equal to mass times gravity times height at point 1. Now, if you observe my, if you observe my work in here, I said mass times gravity times height 1. I didn't write mass 1. I didn't write gravity 1. The concept is that mass and gravity are both constant, so they don't change. So from here now, if I input values, of course, height 1 is equal to distance from the ground up to position 1, which is 4 meters. So I'm having here as 4 meters. So it means potential energy at point 1 is equal to mass. They said the mass of the body was 2 kilograms. So it comes to times gravity. In the question there, they said use gravity as 9.81. So it comes 9.81 times height. The height here is 4. Alright. So if I do this math, I have 2 times 9.81 times 4. Um, that gives me 2 times 9.81 times 4. This is about 78. 0.48 energy is in joules. So here's the potential energy at point 1, 78.48 joules. Let's get potential energy at point 2. At point 2, follow the same formula, it becomes mass times gravity times I2. Observe that the masses didn't come with subscript of 1 and 2 since they are constant. Gravity 2 this comes with subject of 1 and 2 since it's constant. Now, since the height changed, since the height changed, I have height 1 and height 2. 
Alright, if I increase value, this is equal to the mass there is 2 kilogram times gravity is 9.81 times height 2. Height 2 is equal to distance from the ground to point 2, which we got as 1 meter. So it becomes times 1 meter. So having times 1. If I work on this, this would give about um, 19.62 joules. That means potential energy at point 1 is 78.48 joules, while the potential energy at point 2 is 19.62 joules. So if I want to get change in potential energy, so it's equal to potential energy at point 1 minus potential energy at point 2. If I substitute values, this one here is a 78.48 minus this one here is a 19.62 joules. If I do this difference, I have about 78. Point 48 minus 19.62. That is about 58.86 joule. So this becomes the change in the potential energy. So here's the answer to that question. Alright, so since we are done with the calculative part, Let's look at 2A, the theoretical, perhaps, definition part. 2A says, Give the physics definition of the following, stating their units. The first thing there is energy. So what's energy? Energy is simply the ability or the capacity to do work. That's your simple definition. You have to find the SI unit. The SI unit of energy is joules. So energy is in joules. That's all. Number two says work done. Or work. So what I call it work or work done, the same thing. When is work said to be done in science? Work is said to be done in science when a force moves an object through a distance in the direction of that force. Alright? When a force moves an object through a distance in the direction of that force. Alright? Mathematically, work done, W is given as the product of force and distance. If I multiply force and distance, it gives you work done. Of course, force is measured in Newton, distance is measured in meter. So hence, the SI unit of work done is Newton meter. Right? Most times, we take Newton meter as joules. So 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule. So the SI unit of work done is either the SI unit of work is either newton, uh, you write the full, newton meter or joule. Whichever one works, they mean the same thing. So either newton meter or joule. The third one here is power. The third one here is power. What's power? Power is simply the rate at which work is done. All right. How fast you do a work is referred to as a present power. So power is simply the rate of doing work. Power mathematically is equal to Work done or work all over time. Okay? So that power is now equal to work done is in joules, as we mentioned earlier. Of course, time is in seconds. So the SI unit 
the SIU of work dot is joules per second. Joules per second or watts. Alright? So the SIU of bar. Is what? All right. So take note of these things, please. The first one that the SI unit of energy for energy, the SI unit is joules for what? The SI unit is Newton meters, which is same as joules. And number three. For power, the SI unit is joules per second, which is same as watts. So this becomes the answer to that question.